this has to probably be one of the weirdest quarterback rankings for Lamar Jackson that I've ever seen because where he should be ranked at, where he should be in the tier, it literally describes him for sure. Uh, he's not there. He's MIA from it. And this is a top 40 list from Chris Sims. Chris Sims, of course, part of NBC Pro Football Talk with Mike Florio. And they always have some interesting takes. They, they, they keep it fun. Uh, you, some you may agree with, a lot you may not agree with. But anyway, let's get into this. Uh, at number one, it says legendary is Patrick Mahomes. Again, every single list that has Patrick Mahomes at number one, I will not and should not and cannot argue with it at all. Patrick Mahomes, best in the league. Straight up. That's it. Best in the league. He gets the job done. Three-time Super Bowl champion, four Super Bowl appearance, MVPs, it's all that statistics. All the, Patrick Mahomes got it. He is that dude, and we all know that. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, I mean, you got no choice but to acknowledge it, especially the first game of the season. You're going to be seeing them. They just got their Super Bowl rings. You're going to be seeing the banner get dropped first game of the season when the Ravens played them. So Patrick Mahomes, yes, it's him. He is number one. But here's where it gets really weird at because – the second category is unicorns. It's unicorns. So I would think like, all right, a unicorn, that's something that's a lot of people consider magical. It's just crazy. It's very unique. It's one of a kind. There's nothing like it. It, 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 it just is something that's super, super special. And they are not a lot like it. Is it even real? And the quarterbacks that were listed in this category with Josh Allen, with Josh Allen, okay, unicorn, okay, cool, Good Josh Allen, he be throwing that ball, Josh Allen, a truck somebody, he's like a fullback at the quarterback position, uh, so Josh Allen, he cool, he's a turnover machine, but Josh, Josh Allen is very productive, both for offense and defense, but Josh, no, no, Josh, Josh Allen, he's nice, I like Josh Allen, it's, it's real fun watching him play, and I mean, we're gonna get to see him up close in person, so Josh Allen being on the unicorn part, all right, I'm cool with it, no problem, no problem, that's fine. But then the other unicorn is Joe Burrow. Like, Joe Burrow's nice. He's nice. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, if you take away Joe Burrow's weapons, what would he be? Well, it's good that Bengals put him in that position to give him those weapons. They got, And he got some phenomenal weapons. I mean, T. Higgins, he just signed his franchise 10 a couple days ago, so he ain't going nowhere. But, but so Joe, Joe Burrow with his weapons, just fine. Man, Joe and Joe Burrow, like I said, he's nice. That boy can play, but unicorn. What makes Joe Burrow not even the word special, but what just makes him so different from everybody else? What just makes him so like unique at the quarterback position? I again, Joe Burrow's nice, but I just I would not label him as a unicorn. That's just my opinion, though. But Lamar Jackson, he's in the next tier down. He's like, how, how, like, okay, how is Lamar Jackson not a unicorn? How? Uh, like, uh, again, two MVPs, and, and even if, even if you take the MVPs away, which you can't, but even if you take the MVPs away, if you watch Lamar Jackson play, it, even if you watch the plays that he doesn't make, like, if we had a video, if, if, if we had a video of all the times where Lamar Jackson, he made this guy miss in the backfield. He made that guy miss, and he threw the ball, got to his, his receiving. It was an incompletion. Even some of those plays are like they crazy highlight plays, and they don't even count because they incompletions. But he be doing just so much crazy stuff so consistently. It, how, how could he not be in the category of unicorn? That's insane to me. Like, again, with, with a lot of these lists, they're subjective and whatnot. It's, there's different people's opinions, so I respect that. I don't agree with it, but I respect it. But this one, that, that's just weird. Oh, and the category that Lamar Jackson is in, by the way, is darn okay. So, I mean, that's the team keep it clean version. And the people that are with him, Matthew Stafford and Justin Herbert. I'm having a hard time with this one, but um, so, yeah. And neither of those two are bad quarterbacks at all. But for him to be in that, like, he should definitely, I, in my opinion, I would flip um, Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow. I would flip them. Because, again, he got Joe, he got Patrick Mahomes number one, Joe, Josh Allen. Patrick Mahomes number one in a category of his own. Again, it was legendary. 
But I mean, you could say that about Lamar too. But anyway, um, and then in number two and three is Josh Allen and Joe Burrow, and they're in the unicorn category. That's why. And Lamar Jackson number four in the darn okay. So I would flip Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow. So put Lamar Jackson at three in that unicorn category because that that's the perfect category for him because he's so special and very unique. He's not ordinary at all, and that's what describes a unicorn. But and I, I, I will put Joe Burrow with the Matt Stafford and and Justin Herbert and yeah so I, uh, yeah this but yeah it, it's just that placement of him, like how what I the only thing that I could think that would make this make sense is if Chris Sims was trolling that that that's the only way that this makes any kind of sense because the next category in a category all by himself it says prodigy C J Stroud. Okay, yeah, C.J. Stroud, he definitely on his way. Uh, he going to be one of them guys for sure. Next one says, awesome NFC contenders. And this is quarterbacks 8, 9, and 10, Dak Prescott, Jalen Hurst, and Jared Goff. Wild cards. Trevor Lawrence, who just got paid, and mm, I mm, now he's the tied for the highest paid QB in the league. Ooh. I can't tell nobody how to spend their money, but <laughs> I probably wouldn't spend my money like that. But hey, Trevor Lawrence, he, he cool. Ah, is he $55 million a year cool? I mean, you got to pay to keep your quarterbacks up. Uh, uh, anyway, another conversation. But any, uh, continuing in the wild cards, Trevor Lawrence, Kirk Cousins, Jordan Love. Ooh, Jordan Love and Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love 13, Aaron Rodgers 14. Um, and I think for wild cards, it's like, I feel like with that description or that category, the name of that category, it's just, you know, they can be special, but will they? Will they continue to show you how special they are? I think Jordan Love will, for sure. Out of these four, I think Jordan Love will. Uh, Kirk Cousins, he's nice, too. Kirk Cousins is like a, a super sleeper quarterback, super rich quarterback, a super sleeper quarterback, um, because he's never up there as far as people giving him accolades and credit and whatnot. No, he, but he's nice, though. Kirk Cousins, he, he, he's cool, man. Um, and then Aaron Rodgers, I think the reason that he's in that category is just because of health. I think he's a wild card because of health. Uh, I think they just don't want to rate him, rank him too high because they don't know what the Jets are really going to get out of him. I think if he's healthy, then he's going to do just fine. Uh, the Jets are going to be nice, but everything depends on that ankle, just his body. And cause he is a lot older now, obviously. Um, so let's see what happens with him. Uh, and then the next category is a thumbs up, but hmm, so the thumbs up emoji, but then the thinking emoji. And that's Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Brock Purdy, Tua, Tagovailoa, and Geno Smith. Hmm. Well, Brock Purdy, I would put him higher. I would definitely put him higher than that. Uh, now, he is in, uh, I mean, nothing's perfect, but he's in a perfect situation. Uh, Brock Purdy is because he has a coach that knows how to get the most out of his players. Now, I don't know what goes on in because they, they keep making it to the NFC Championship. They keep making it to Super Bowls, but they just can't finish the job. And what sucks about it is that they just they keep getting back. They keep getting back there. They keep. NFC Championship, NFC Championship, NFC, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. So they had multiple opportunities, but they just keep falling. That got to be so frustrating, man. Like, as a 49ers fan, I got to be so frustrated. But then think about the players. Think about the coaching staff. Think about people that have been there for both Super Bowls and been there for all these NFC champions. Like, yeah, that's tough, man. And, and then, I mean, you, you go way back. Obviously, it was a different team. But you go back, way back to 2012, and they didn't finish that Super Bowl either. They came close. But they didn't finish that one either. And I ain't got no problem with them not finishing that one. But anyway, um, but I, I would put Brock Purdy uh, higher. I would actually put him as... Maybe an awesome NFC contender. That would, that would put him top 10, though. Er, like, in, in between awesome NFC contender and wild carder. That's why I would put Brock Purdy yet. Tua, Tua, I think, is a wild card. Um, so I think he should actually be higher, too. But anyway, chosen one at number 20, Caleb Williams. Let's see. Uh, glory days. So this is talking about quarterbacks who... They want. They used to be nice, but the glory days probably passed them. Uh, twenty one, Russell Wilson. Twenty two, Derek Carr. Uh, next up categories is poop or get off the toilet, and that is Daniel Jones, Deshaun Watson, or Justin Fields. So basically, saying it's time to prove it. It's time to prove whatever's gonna be. It's it's time to prove it. Um, 
Deshaun Watson being there is oof, it's tricky. Justin Fields, Justin Fields is tricky because him and Russell Wilson, obviously the job is going to go to Russell Wilson. So Justin Fields, I think he'll be limited on what he can do. But I'm sure that they're going to throw in some packages where they definitely use him. Um, next says ready rookies. Will Levis, Michael uh, Penix. Junior, Jaden Daniels, Bo Nix, J.J. McCarthy. So they, they threw Will Levis into the, the ready rookies category. He was a rookie last year, obviously, but they threw him in there. Um, for hire, <laughs> at number 31, they put Ryan Tannehill. Now, that's somebody who I wouldn't mind the Baltimore Ravens signing. I think that would be such a good signing at the quarterback position um, because, again, he's somebody with experience. And, I mean, Josh Johnson's only with a lot of experience, too. He didn't play it everywhere. But with Ryan Tannehill, he's somebody that's literally played in every single type of game that there is. He has amazing chemistry with Derrick Henry. They played together for years. They had a lot of success. And he started for a long time. So, in my opinion, I think the Baltimore Ravens should sign him as a backup quarterback. Look, we love Josh Johnson. He can still be that number three guy. And they, I don't think they're going to give it to Emory Hunt. I don't think they're going to give it to uh, Devin Leary to be the, the the backup quarterback. Then there's Malik Cunningham. Well, Malik Cunningham is a receiver now. But, um, so, yeah. I mean, they, they've been saying Josh Johnson all offseason, of course. But I think that Ryan Tannehill would be a great pickup. But, anyway, we can talk about that another time. Uh, number 32 through 35, it says the young and the reckless. Wow. Uh, and he says Anthony Richardson, Sam Donald, Bryce Young, and Jameis Winston. I'll let y'all go off on that one. Then throwbacks, 36 and 37, Jaco Jacoby Brissett and Joe Flacco. And then backup, uh, uh, number 38 through 40 is uh, Kenny Pickett. And 39, Gardner Minshew. And number 40, Jared Stidham. So, yeah, that was a, uh, that's a fun list. Again, these lists are fun to go over. It ain't fun to make them. But... Them uh, those top four is just it's not in the right order. Lamar Jackson is definitely, and again, even if you're not a Ravens fan, like you, you know, Lamar Jackson would need to be in that uh unicorn category for sure, not the darn okay. He needs to definitely be much higher than that. 